What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Magmortar team alongside with Expert Belt Swampert. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We just passed 9,000 subscribers on the channel. So Road to 10K is starting up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe and join the squad. But this team right here was sent in by a viewer, but I realized it was actually made by Spatial. And if you guys do not know who Spatial is, he's another PokeTuber, does rank double content. So I'm going to be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out and show some love over on his channel. But getting started with this team, we have Magmortar in that top left corner, Life Orb ability, not ability, Life Orb item, and Flame Body ability, Heat Wave 4 hour stab move, Thunderbolt and Scorching Sands for coverage, and Protect. Cannot wait to show off this Pokemon, very cool, and you don't get to see a lot of them, so he's going to be fun to use. Women's Cot is right next to him as our support mon, Prankster ability, Focus Ash is his item, so we don't get one tap, Moon Blast, Tailwind, Helping Hand, and Taunt, a great and awesome moveset for any Women's Cot to use. Swamper in that middle left with that Torrent ability, Expert Belt as our item, so super effective moves will do more damage. Scald, Earth Power, both for our stab moves, and then we have Ice Beam and Protect as our last two moves. Rollaboom right next to him, another Pokemon you can bring in on any team. He has the Grassy Surge ability and Assault Vest for its item. And then this amazing moveset, which is probably my favorite for any Rollaboom. As Grassy Guide, high horsepower for coverage, knock off the takeoff items because that could be huge in many instances, and then fake out for our final move and our flinch move. Bottom left is going to be Urshfu. Love this Pokemon. So good all around. This one has the black glasses as his item. Unseen fist so we can hit through protects. And then this normal moveset for him with Wicked Blow. Close combat, Sucker Punch, and Protect. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Spectre over here. And this is actually like a support build for him. He has a Grimnay ability. Safety Goggles as his item. Shadow Ball for stab. Snarl for special attack drop. Taunt for support mons. And Will-O-Wisp to throw burns on physical attackers. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto this ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Magmortar team. Before we hop into battle number one, I just want to announce your boy is back streaming. I'm streaming over on Twitch. There's a link down in the description below, and my name is right below my face cam. So make sure you go down there, hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live. I'm streaming five plus days every single week, doing some Pokemon Unite content, grind that out, trying to get high ranks, and eventually we're going to be hopping into Series 10 and streaming these online battles as well. But we're getting started here, going up against a Durant team alongside with Tapu Fini, uh, Cresselia, Glacier, Regilecki, and... Clefairy over here. So he can set up a Trick Room if he wants to. He can set up a Trick Room. I think I'm safe to go into Magmortar and Whimsicott combo here. Because I can flinch up if he wants to go for Trick Room. And then if he, goes, if he doesn't want to do a Trick Room, he should be fine with it. I'm going to go Urshfu in back end. And then final Pokemon, do I go Swampert? I think Swampert's probably our best bet all around here. So let's rock out Swampert. Let's rock out with the squad and look for a win in our first battle. But yeah, I've been having a blast playing streams. Like, dude, I've been waking up early in the morning, grinding out Pokemon Unite, and having a blast with the community. We all talk, we all have a good time, and we're just pushing rank. I've been using Grand Ninja a lot. I finally unlocked him in Unite, so next video will be uh, about Grand Ninja, using him in the jungle, using him in, on the rank ladder in Unite, and just showing him off to his fullest potential. Tons of fun character. He's a really cool character, and he's, he's going to be my main for Pokemon Unite. He's going to be my, be my main. He's just really squishy. That's, his, that's my only problem with him. He's really squishy, but he hits like a truck. But let's see who this guy leads. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Because I really want to show off this Magmortar Mortar and get grinding with him. But it's cool that we're seeing a Durant team. I haven't seen Durant in a while. And Durant used to be a big part of the meta. But this guy's going to lead Durant and Clefairy. And he's probably... Hmm, what do I do here? I could... I could guard and taunt. I could guard and taunt. Because I can definitely see a Dynamax coming out from him. So I'm thinking I'm just going to taunt onto this Clefairy and just, do I max guard or do I just regular protect? I think I'm just going to max guard here. Because I think we're going to see a Dynamax come out from him as well. So I'm going to guard here. I think he's Dynamaxing, right? Yep. He's going to Dynamax. He's probably going to come out for my Magmortar. He's probably going to come out for my Magmortar. And I think we're just going to see Follow me and him just trying to get after it with Durant. So we're going to guard here, block up this shot, get off a taunt, and then Tailwind and drop a fire if we have to. Or I can make the hard read saying he's going to protect. We'll see. We shall see. Let's see how this one rolls out here. Because my own Dynamax. Yo, we ain't playing no games. I'm not playing no games around here. Oh, I don't play games here. I don't play games here. 
But Durant is so squishy. If I can get just get off a max point onto him, it's going to be over for him. We're just going to dump on him in one shot. Unless he's focus ash, but I really don't see him being focus ash. He's probably hustled and life orb as his ability and item. If I had to guess. But let's see how this play goes. We garden. Big old block. Big old block coming through here. He's going to go for that follow me. Saw this coming all day. All day. Show me that Durant's going after my mag mortar. We're going to be able to taunt up on you. Come here. You're not allowed to do that anymore. You're not allowed to do that anymore. And show me Durant's going after mag mortar. Huge plays from your boy. Huge plays from your boy. That's big. So now I can just simply go into a tailwind and just rock out with a max player. Does he have anybody with like flash fire or something? No. Nobody's really going to take this max player too well besides Tapu Finny. But if Tapu Finny does swap in, then we get off a drought and his water moves are going to be there. So he's going to withdraw. He's going to withdraw Clefairy and go into whom? Cresselia maybe? Let's see. Yep, Cresselia's going to pop through and are we going to see a guard? We are indeed going to see a guard. So we do get off a tailwind. And I think I still go after... Actually, I'm going to taunt and still go after that Durant slot. Max player's going to come in here and do nothing. So we're still going to flare onto the, the Durant slot. If he wastes out Dynamax turns, I can waste out Dynamax turns. Now we will taunt here just so a Trick Room doesn't get out. And we're just going to go for a flare. Oh, he's going to ally switch. He's going to ally switch, yo. Or is he going for a Trick Room? What is he going to do here? Mmm... Dang it, man. Goes for the Alice with Joe. I should have thought about it. I should have thought because I said it afterwards. Goes for that, and now we're flaming. Dang it, dude. So, Magmortar's going to go down here. He's still going to be able to do a decent amount of damage on the Cresselia. And, oh, I don't know. I don't like how this first battle is looking right. I don't like how it's looking because he's just going to Quake on me and probably KO me. Right? Quake comes through, and we waste out Dynamax turn. So, hopefully, hopefully we can eat this up. We do not. That's rough. That is so rough. Dude, if I would have read that, if I would have read that Alice, which I would have been amazing. Because I said it afterwards. I should have thought a little bit more and be like, yo, he's going for that Alice. Which I that would have been huge. That would have been huge. But he ends up picking up the KO. And we do waste out Dynamax turn, so that's not too bad. We bring out Urshfu all day. Urshfu does rock out. Solid all around here. Hmm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? Let's go into Urshfu. Let's go into Urshi Ursh. The Fu of the Urshis. We're going to be able to rock out with that. Um, his Dynamax is over. We do have speed on him, which is great. I could see another ally switch, but dude, this is tough. It's tough news. Uh, helping hand, I could just go for a Moon Blast. Let's mm. so just helping hand on this thing, and we go after this Durant, maybe. Look at Blow can come through here. I really want this Durant dead. So I'm more worried about the Durant more so than the uh, Cresselia. So if he ally switches, we'll just be able to take it out from there. But let's just see the play he makes. He is hustled, so and he's out of Dynamax, so he has a higher chance of missing here. But we're just going to choice into a Wicked Blow here, guarantee ourselves that crit. We should be thriving. We should be thriving here. We still have our Focus Dash on our, uh, on our Wimsy Got. But after Tailwind ends, when is it? This turn or next turn? I think it's a turn after. I think it's next turn. I think we have one more turn with it. We can potentially set up another one. He's going to end up with on the Cresselia. That's huge. We're going after the, the Durant anyway. And we should be able to take out the Durant. No problem, right? Unless he protects. I think protect would have came out first, right? Let's see. And anyway, we would have been able to hit through it. But Wicked Blow comes out here after helping hand. Can we KO this thing? Yes, sir. Get it out of my face. Get it out of here. So big turn for us. That really did kind of like uh, even out the tides here. Didn't really even this out. And I forget what the black glasses do as items. That's just boost attack. I think it does. I think it does indeed. There's Cresselia. I could taunt up onto him if I really want to. He might go back into Cresselia. Let's see. No, Glacier is going to pop out here. And I can definitely, definitely go into a taunt. I could protect. When I protect on you, I do have protect. I'm totally going to protect here. Cause we don't want follow me coming out here, and we uh, and I gotta get off of close combat onto this thing. We are sad, so we cannot take out one shot, one shot. Let's just see how this one goes down. Unless he protects with the Clefairy, then we're kind of sitting in a bad position. But I think we're sitting in a driver's seat if this turn goes as planned. Tech comes out from Urshfu. I feel like he's dropping a move into my Urshfu and then just following me or something like that. We do get off this lovely little taunt. 
Let's see what he's going for. So he wasn't going for follow me. Body press can come through. Blah. And what are you going for, Clefairy? Icy Wind. Okay. I'm cool with that. That'll take off our Sash. And now we can Tailwind again. And I can just easily close combat onto that uh, Glacier. And probably take him out. So I definitely want speed. I definitely want speed. So I definitely want to go Tailwind again. Just to have speed in the back end as well. So we'll Tailwind do that. And then I'm just going to close combat. Because you can't protect that. You cannot protect that. I'm so used to having a choice ban on my Urshifu, and I was thinking like, oh, I have to go for a Wicked Blow, but I don't have to. Uh, we're going to end up Tailwind. He's going to Icy Wind us again, and I think Close Combat should be able to pick up KO here, right? Can it? Can it do it indeed? Let's see. Close Combat flying through. Nope, it's not very effective. Not very effective. Alright, there goes my Defense Drop. That's tough news. And what's he going to go for here? Another Icy Wind? Now he's eating up a Baron. Okay, Icy Wind's gonna fly through here. Uh, I think Urshifu is still fastest. And he could ally switch, but would Wicked Blow still be the call? What do I want to do here? I could swap into my Swampert. But I think Swampert should be fine uh, 1v1 and up on a Glacier. I could Helping Hand. Might be my play and just drop a Wicked Blow. But are we gonna read the ally switch? I think I'm gonna read the ally switch. What's he really going to do? I could just uh, drop a close combat. Oh, well, we got to go for a Wicked Blow. I think I'm going to read the Ally Switch. Let's read this Ally Switch. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty here. Let's do him dirty. Go ahead. Do the Ally Switch. I don't think he is, though. It's tough if he does. I hope he does. I think he's just going to try to Ally Switch and maybe slow down. Then I can see him not doing it. He's just going to withdraw Clefairy. Okay, yo, I'm with that. Go in the Glacier. And now you ally switching? Nope, we're just helping hand and getting off a nice little wicked blow here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. On to, this is a, really the only Pokemon I'm really worried about right here. Is this little booger. How much damage are we going to do onto him? Good amount of damage. We get that huge crit. And now I can just freely drop a wicked blow. Oh, and yo, you moonlight it? You're moonlighting? You crazy. So now I can freely drop a wicked blow, which can pick up a KO on either of these guys. Alright, so this thing now gets, uh, oh, he's leftovers. He's leftovers. Now do we read the ally switch? Let me throw that here, and we just wicked blow on the slot. I think it's a fine turn. I think it's a fine turn. Let's see what he does. You're gonna go, go for that ally switch. Do it. Just do it, please. If not, we're hitting up on Cresselia hard. He's gonna withdraw Cresselia hard. Oh, yo, you smart booger. Yo, Wimscott, can you KO here? This guy's just swapping. He's just swapping like crazy. I'm trying to read the ally switch now. I think he's able to eat up really well. Pretty cool. He comes out here. And he might be able to take out my Earth School here. But again, I think we're sitting fine. Man. This guy's just longing out this battle here. Substitute gonna come. Oh, my man. He's subbing up. He's subbing up. Now we can just go into a follow me if he wants to. And now I am going to taunt. And I could just protect my Urshifu. Um, if he wants to play the long game, we'll play the long game. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> this guy wants to play the long drawn out battles. That's all good. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. It's a solid battle though. It's a really good battle right now. I'll keep my Pokemon in all day. We're starting to drop his HP really, really low. Is he just going to go for another Icy Wind? Is that his play? Is that coming out here? I'll taunt up on you again, you little booger. Yeah, just follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see you all day. We see you all day. Taunt coming out here. That's lovely. Now I can take out Glacier, no problem. Glacier is now dead. This match is going to go in our favor. I can just drop a Wicked Blow into that slot. Oh, wait. He subbed up. He is subbed up, but can the what's it called take him out? Can the Moon Blast take that out? I'm gonna go for it. Where's his sub going? Where where is his sub suit? I don't see usually isn't it sitting there? What happened to it? Oh, there's a cancel. We'll take that all day. 1-0 to get this video started, and we rocked out that battle.
that was a really good first battle. It was long and drawn out. We were able to play it really, really smart and pick ourselves up that win in battle number one. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a coaching Ryalu team alongside with Letheon, uh, Defiant, right? Yeah, Defiant, Galarian, Zapdos, and then he has Tapu Koko, Xerxes Tree, and Amoonga. So I think he's probably going to lead the coaching. He's going to coach up, and I might I might just want to go Magmortar here. Do I want to go Magmortar? Maybe with Rillaboom so I can flinch and not even allow him to get off coach. Yeah, we're going to go Rillaboom and Magmortar. I think we're fine without a Tailwind. I want to bring Urshfu, and I think Swampert in the back end. I don't think we need a Tailwind. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think here. I'm really digging this. I'm really digging this. Because I really want to show off Magmortar. I think Magmortar just rocks out all around. It's just a great Pokemon. So if he does go into like coaching or coaching in Zapdos, I think I'm just going to flinch the Ryloo and take him out with a flare and then rock out from there. And then eventually maybe knock off the Zapdos item. But I'm thinking way too ahead of it. I always like think of the battle in my head before anything even happens. So let's just see who he leads and go from there. He goes Leaf Gun and Ryloo. So it is coaching over here. The good thing I did uh, send this out here. And we have Magmortar. Magmortar. And I'm not even going to go after this Leaf Gun because Leaf Gun can dig. Or do I... How do I play this one? I could go after Leafeon. Or do I just take out the Ryland? But I obviously want to fake out here. I think I just fake out you. And I could drop a Heat Wave. Heat Wave could be big, but I think I'd rather just... Wait. Hmm. But Leafeon has the... Has the option of protecting. We're swapping. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go after this round. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. So he is not gonna die next. So he, he might dig up or he might swap. Oh, he's not swapping because I think the swap would have came out first. But let's see what he does. I think he's gonna end up digging. He might end up digging or even protecting. Him. Let's see his play. He might coach and then go into a dig. But we're getting this flinch on for the same. So this thing is just going to protect you. Lovely little turn by me. Lovely little turn by me. Lovely. Lovely little turn. Here goes my fake out. Mwah. Slap up on you. Yo, that's a huge amount of damage for a flinch. Do you not have Evo Light? Do you not have Evo Light? Where it comes through here, we say Rylou out my face. So now we're sitting here like this. Um, I can just easily drop a flare onto Leafeon. And I can take off items now. But I'm, I'm liking that first turn. That's a huge first turn for us. And our life or damage gets neglected a decent amount by that uh, grassy terrain. So we lose 15 HP and we gain like 10 back, pretty much. So not bad. Not bad at all. He's going to throw out Xerxes Tree. That's totally fine with me. Xerxes Tree is going to get popping. I am going to try to take off item for Xerxes Tree. Or I could just go into a high horsepower. Uh, I'd rather just be like, yo, give me that item. And I'm just going to drop a flare over on the Leap Count because Leap Count's posing a big threat here. I know Leaf Gun rocks dig. He's gonna withdraw his Urchitry. That's huge for us. We dig that a lot. And Zapdos is gonna come through here. But dude, I'm with it all day. What, you th what do you think I'm going for? Leaf Gun is gonna dig. Dang it, dude. I know that they usually dig. I know that they usually dig. So I can quake, but I see us eating up a ton here. Player's gonna come out here. He's gonna dodge it. And we're gonna take off this item of this bird. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Give me your, uh, what item do you have? Electric Seed. You got an Electric Seed. You're crazy. So that, that wasn't even that big of a, a thing we took off. Um, I might swap. But I think he's just going to go for an air move. But at the same time, I really don't want to swap. I don't mind if he goes down. So Leaf Gun goes first. We're going to take off Leaf Gun's item. And then I think we just drop a flare. Oh, I can't guard. I can't guard. But I think I'm just going to drop a flare. Because I see us eating up this uh, dig. And I, and I see Zapdos going after my roll beam. Thing coming out here, we're able to eat, and what's gonna go on from here? He has life orb, so we're gonna be able to take that off in a second. And there goes the acrobats. There's the air move, and we eat. Yo, that's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. The flare's gonna be able to drop through. We're gonna be able to take out this after no problem. Get him out of my game, and we're gonna take off this life orb onto this sleep down. I'm not really worried about the sleep down anymore. I really am not. I really am not. So there goes the knock off. Give me that. Give me that thing. Give me that thing. So we have Swampert in the back, and we also, mm, maybe we should get rid of Sleep Down. Maybe we should get rid of Sleep Down. It's tough. He doesn't have Orb anymore, which is huge. But I can see him definitely Dynamaxing that Pokemon. 
But let's see what Pokemon he does bring out as his final mon. And oh, it is Zerxia Tree. So Zerxia Tree could Dynamax. He could do a lovely little Dynamax. Might just go for a Heat Wave. A high horsepower. Or I can just go for a Glide and guarantee a hit. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there and I'm going to go for a Heat Wave. That's the Gene's plan. That's the Gene's plan. Because I really want to guarantee a hit off here. Leaf Fountain is going to protect. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. I could have went for a high horsepower. That could have been big. But we might be able to get off another, another Grass Guy after this. Let's say Zerk Street. Oh, he's just going to discharge. Who's dodging it? Anybody dodging it? Someone dodge it. Nope. And anyone survive? Nobody survives. Okay. So not bad. I think Urshifu does outspeed most of these guys. This one's going to be really, really good. And the Beast Boost coming through. So he's got to go. Special attack is raising. Sh wait, Sharply? Isn't that plus two if it goes Sharply? Hold, hold up. Hold up. His Beast Boost is plus two? Don't tell me that. Let's get out these Pokemon. Uh, I think I'm just going to protect my Swampert this turn and get rid of Zerks. That might be our play. That might be our lovely little play. We're not water, which is huge. And he cannot hit me with electric moves. Yo, did that raise sharply? Let me see this. His beast boost is plus two? What you mean? Um, I could just go for Sucker Punch, which I think I'm just going to do. Because I think Sucker Punch should be able to pick up the kill. And then just protect my poor little Swamper. Who's going to Dynamax? He still has Dynamax. So Leafeon, we could see a Dynamax coming out from Leafeon. And if this Sucker Punch can land through, that's huge. Hopefully he's Dynamax. I don't know. I don't know. This one's going to come down to the wire here. It really is. But I think it's going to be Leafeon. He Dynamaxes. He's just going to go for an Overgrowth. No, it's Zerks, a tree, man. Should have went for a better move. Should have went for a better move. Because now I don't think Sucker Punch is taken out. Now I don't think Sucker Punch is taken out. Let's see how this one plays out here. Protect comes out from Swamps. Yes, sir. And here goes my Sucker Punch. How much damage are we doing? Oh, you kidding me? Solar Blade comes through here. Swampert should be able to get an easy block here. And Solar Blade's going to fly through here. And yo, dude does me dirty. Eat this up. We're able to eat. And Xerxes going to go for a start. Did he double down and read my protect? Yo, what a play. What a play. What a play by him. That is huge. What a read. That's going to be GG's now. Now he's just going to Solar Blade into my Swampert and take him out no problem. Going to take him out no problem. But yo, that's so whack. We put this thing on like an inch of HP. If I would have went for any other move, that would have been GG's. Actually, what's called probably faster than everybody. But we still would have been, been able to eat. The Leaf Gun definitely has chlorophyll. I'm going to hope maybe he misses. And try to take out you with an Ice Beam. <laughs> that's like our only chance here. But, dude, look how close you were to just winning that battle. Not close you were. Because just think, if we take out Zerk's Tree, that's an easy sucker punch on the Leaf Gun. And then he doesn't have no double hitting moves. And then we're guaranteed another hit. But we would have got guaranteed two hits off on the Leaf Gun and won the battle. Dang, dude, what a battle. Solar Blade comes through here. And he has to charge. He has to charge. But wait just a minute. This thing's going to start. Well, he's plus four, though. He's plus four, so that's easy KO, right? Ridiculous. How do you go up sharply? Every other Ultra Beast goes up plus one. I saw sharply and I was like, bro, yo, that's insane. But GG's this guy. We're one and one. Let's hop into our third and look for that winning record. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into our third one, looking for that winning record. And we're going up against a meta team right here. This is a very strong team. Yes, Incineroar, Glacier, Colossal, alongside with that Pre-Marina, the Proctor Weakness Policy, and the uh, Steam Engine. And then he also has the Rillaboom and Gothitelle. Gothitelle can come in here, fake out. He has Intimidates on him as well. So a lot we got to worry about. There is a lot we have to worry about. I don't think Swapper is going to come in this battle. I just don't see it happening. I think we should bring Inspector as a lead. We can throw on burns. We can do it. We can do with decent amount. Here. We're gonna throw on Spectre here. Um, who else should we go into? I think he leads that. That Colossus. I might leave Whimsicott. I could go Urshifu. That's a nice, lovely little lead. That we can get buzzing with that. Yeah, let's go Urshifu. And then, actually, no. We should go. We should go Rillaboom here. Inspector. I think these two are a great lead here. And then I want to bring an Urshifu in the back end. And then I'm thinking Magmortar. I'm thinking Magmortar, baby. Just because I like this Pokemon. 
Just because I like this Pokemon. But dude, that second battle was so close. It was so close. I wish we were able to pick up that win. That was a really good one. Dude, it's actually tree on like this much. Like, come on, man. I thought that second punch was going to take out. And I did not think he was going to Dynamax. I did not think that guy was going to Dynamax. And he read my Protect hard. He read it hard, which was really smart. So his lead is going to be Gothitel and Incineroar. Okay, so he has Fake Out. I have Fake Out. Uh, what else is going on here? He has Intimidate. Okay. Awar, right, say less. Say less. So I don't see Gothel really having any big heavy hitting moves. So let's see how this one plays out here. Oh, he has actually two fake outs. Actually has two fake outs. I think I'd rather fake out the Incineroar. Give him that and then uh the Snarl or I can just straight up Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna straight up Shadow Ball. I just stab. Do these amount of damage with it. Let's see how this one plays out. You can't fake out my my horsey though. It's huge. So hopefully we fake out his instant war and then his goth pelt fakes out my robo and we can just get off a free shadow ball. That could be a big turn. The fake out comes out here. Mwah. Give me that flinch. Goth tell what are you going for? Shadow ball's just gonna fly through. Goth tell is not faking out, so I dig that turn. Get some nice lovely damage on that thing. Another shadow ball will finish that thing off. He flinches and trick room is popping. Trick Room is popping. It's out and about. Uh, we still have the Mag Mortar in the back. Uh, we could start taking off items. But I think I'm just going to... Oh, I could have high horsepower into Incineroar. I think taking off his item would be a little bit better. I'm just going to knock off his item. And then I think I'm just going to... Shadow Ball. I think I'm just going to do a lovely little Shadow Ball here. Let's see. Is he going to swap? He's going to drop a nice little Psychic. Uh, eat this one up, really. Love you all day. Tasty snack. And a Flareblitz going to fly through, which I still think we're eating up here. Eat this one up, baby. We do not. Get out of my face. Get out of here. I thought we were going to eat that one up. It's all good. Shadow Ball is going to come through here. We are going to be able to take out Goth Tell. And then hopefully he throws out his Trick Room Mom, which should be Glacier, right? Which should be Glacier. So I should throw in a Pokemon that poses a threat to Glacier, like Magmortar. We are Grimnade boosted. We are Grimnade boosted, but I think I'm going to throw out Magmortar here. Just in case he throws that Glacier, because that poses such a big threat to him. That he's probably going to force an attack onto Magmortar. Then I might guard, and then I think I'm just going to throw in a burn. On. So let's see. Yep, there's Glacier. And now I'm throwing out Magmortar. So we're definitely going to Dynamax him. Um, And I think I'm just going to guard. I think I'm just going to set off a nice, lovely little guard. Because he has speed all day, so he's probably going to come after me. And I'm just going to throw on a lovely little burn. And start pestering onto that glacier. We don't want to deal with it. We don't want to deal with it at all. Just don't want to deal with it. Especially if we can get off a Dynamax or uh, not a Dynamax, a burn on his Dynamax mod. That's big news for us. So there's a Dynamax. Hopefully, my plan is looking good for us. Hopefully, it's looking good for us. We need him to go after Magmortar. There's a the Dynamax. We're, we're making hard. We're like we, were, we thought of this play like before he even threw out Glacier. We're just like, I think he's gonna throw out Glacier. Let's get out Mag Mortar, try to target that attack down, guard it up, and go from there. Because he is in Trick Room, so he has speed, and we all know Glacier and Trick Room is a bear to deal with. So at least if I can get off this burn, we should be thriving. Here. So let's see. Let's make it happen, Jeans. Let's make it happen. Mag Mortar's out and about. I'm loving this Pokemon. I do like Electivire a lot better than him, but Mag Mortar is still really fun to use. Electivire is just so good all around. There goes my lovely guard. Set it up. Show me your Quaken or something. Until... Give it to me, baby, yo. Give it to me. Parting Shots can come through here. And yo, you're fine parting shotting. That's totally fine. He just wants to come back out here for an Intimidate. But more importantly, Mag Mortar is special attack. So he's going to show his last mod. And we have a huge turn there. That is some crazy reads for us there. Just playing with this guy. We're, we're reading his mind. Will Lewis comes through. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. Huge turn there. He might guard now. You son of a biscuit. This thing has Lumberry. What you mean? Yo, what? What? All right, we're going to go after you. I'm going to burn you again. I'm going to burn you again. Of course, this thing has Lumberry. Of course, this thing has Lumberry. Can we eat this Glide? We do indeed eat this Glide. You're going to Quake on us now? Come on, Magmortar. I need you to eat this up. It's not a stat. 
It's not stat. You can eat it up all day. Let's go! Let's go! Huge turn for us. Huge turn for us. We get special defense boost. I still think we can take out this Rillaboom. No problem with this flare. And hopefully we land this Will-O-Wisp. Get him. He sashed, bro. He sashed! Is he not sashed? He's not sashed? Bro! What is this game? Well, we lost because of that. Oh my lord. Imagine losing to one HP and a Lumberry. We did everything right. We did everything right. Absolutely everything right. We can't do anything here. Unless how many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. One turn. So I'm totally going to guard. I cannot guard with you. So Shadow Ball is going to have to come through. Bro, imagine losing to one HP and a berry. And a berry. We played this one so well. Glide comes through. Hold up. Wait a minute. And now uh, we're dead to a hailstorm. Whack, yo. So whack, man. Hate this game. Hate this game. All right, so we're going to get a little bit of HP back. Oh, but we are going to take buckets. It's tough. But Real Boom is also going to take buckets. That is super whack. Um, can Sucker Punch, that's the real question, can Sucker Punch come out before the glide? Of course, he, he survives on one HP again. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> like, we played this one so good, too. Doing everything right. Everything's rocking for us. Urshfu's coming out here, so Sucker Punch needs to come out before this so we can take out that Rillaboom and still be able to get off a Heat Wave onto the Glacier. That's what we need. That's what we need. So there's still a nice little chance for us. Nice little chance. Jeans is here to play. I'm here to play. Bro, we played that one so good, though. I would hate to lose it. I would hate to lose it. The Heat Wave's got to come through. And Sucker Punch has got to come through here. Urshfu, Sucker Punch him. Hit him. Hit him with it. Sucker punch him. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, baby. See, he probably they're probably thinking like, yo, we might have sucker punch up his sleeve. But he's gotta be going for a glide in my Mag Mortar, right? He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna withdraw you. So smart little withdrawal there. And he's gonna throw out who? Incineroar. Oh, you buttered biscuit. It's huge play for him. That's huge. He's gonna win off of that one. He's gonna win off of that. Tax job comes through here. This life orb is eventually gonna take this our Mag Mortar is dead after this. Heat wave comes through. Who dodged it? This is awful. This is just awful. Everything that can go wrong went wrong. Lumberry. Miss a heat wave. One HP. Come on, man. This, this, this game just doesn't want me to win. It just doesn't want me to win. Ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Alright, so I'm trying to think how we can still win this game, even though I know we can't win this game. I think we just have to go here and take you out and then sucker punch onto you. Because I don't see Glacier doing too, too much damage. We are minus one, which sucks, man. It stinks. We need them to miss an attack now. <laughs> He's going to withdraw Glacier. And he can, he's, probably, he's gonna fake me out this turn, fake me out next turn. Right? Is that is that your play? Is that your play? Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright. Alright. Alright, I see I see I see what you're doing. Oh, it's Buffett's KO? Oh my lord. Third time this dude's on one HP. <laughs> Third time this this dude's on one HP. Like, that's one. There's, there's no way it's not one HP. It could even be, like, lower than one. It could be, like, a half. <laughs> Alright. Sucker punch time. Got a rocket. We might swap. But it's, this is the only way. But she's just gonna... I think he's just gonna fake out with Real Boom. He's just toying with me, man. But, yo. Hope this person knows. If he's watched the video, he won because of luck. 
All luck, I don't want to hear it. I outplayed him so well, and you guys know it. There's a double fake out. Buttery biscuit. And I think a flare is just going to rock the rear and finish this one off. All right, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to just run. You, you want to be like that? You, you want to act all cool? Toy around with jeans? He's probably like, yeah, y'all, I'm playing jeans, yo. I'm about to beat jeans, yo. Get out of my face, yo. You won because of luck. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Yo, let me know in the comment section down below. We play good in that one? Because I believe we play really good. We made some awesome reads with that glacier. And and what glacier rocks a lumberry? That's my real question. That's my real question. Get out of here. I know. Oh, fourth time this dude's on one HP. I repeat, fourth time this dude's on one HP. Do I still fight this one? That's a real question. <laughs> I mean, I'm minus two. I don't, I don't see. Unless we start dropping wicked blows. Because then attack drops don't matter. No, I'm going to say he swaps. I'm going to say he doesn't go for the Clyde. I say he thinks I'm going for a sucker punch this time. Biscuit. <laughs> Dang it. The time we should have went for the sucker punch. GG's. One and two for today's video. All three battles were awesome, and I feel like I got to show off this team really well. Dope team that we got to use today. I'm a little upset that we weren't able to get that winning record considering we played pretty solid in the two battles that we lost. But I'm glad we got to show off this team and use Mag Mortar once again on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.